Hi, welcome to my channel to Irrational. I'm Pranay Sharma and in this video, we are going to learn how we use newton raphson method to find the roots of an equation using the Casio FX991 ES Plus calculator. Even if I'm using this calculator, this method will work in many other scientific calculators as well. First, let's see what a newton raphson method is. newton raphson method is an iterative method of finding the roots of any type of equation just by using this formula. Iterative method means that we are not going to reach the answer in one go, but we will step by step go closer and closer to that value. So this is the equation that we will be using to find the next iterative value. Here x1 is the next iterative value. So we should know the x0 value. We will figure out how to find the first value as well. Then we'll put the equation in terms of x0 and the derivative of that equation in terms of x0. That means we'll substitute the values of x0. Let's see an example. We'll try to find the approximate value of a single root of this quadratic equation. Quadratic equation has two roots, but we'll go with the one root and then you can use the same method to find the second root as well. The first thing we'll do is we'll find one value that is close to our answer. I'll use all integers value to check which one is the closest. So first, let's say I'll go with zero. It's a zero and I will store it in this value x. So shift RCL. You can see here I have STO and then I will press this bracket close. That gives me zero has been now stored in x. Now I'll make this specific equation in terms of this x. So I have 9 alpha and then when I press this close bracket button, I get an x. Then minus 36 alpha x plus 32. This is my equation. When I press equal to, it will substitute the value of x as 0 and give me the answer that is 32. That is fine because x is 0 right now. So this is a positive value. I don't care what value it is, but it is a positive value that is important for me. Next, I will store again in x the value 1. So 1, shift, RCL, and this bracket close. So 1 has been stored in x. Then I will use the navigation key to go up to the same equation. I'll press equal to now it has substituted the value of x as 1 and I get the value 5. A few things that we have observed here. First, when I put x is equal to 0, I got 32. When I put x is equal to 1, I got 5. Both are positive. That means root is not between 0 and 1. But because it has decreased, I am moving towards the value of 0. Now I will substitute x is equal to 2 and check whether I get a negative value because I would want my value to go from positive to negative or negative to positive. That suggests that there is a value of 0 in between them. So I will go and store the value of 2 in x and go up again and check. Now you can see when I put x is equal to 2, I get a negative value. That tells me that there is a root between 0 or uh, between 1 and 2. Now I will use this newton raphson method and take x0 as, as x is equal to 1. You can go with x is equal to 2 as well. That will work too. So to find the next iterative value, all I have to do is substitute here x0 as 1. So first I will store the value of 1 in x and now I will make the equation. I will press AC, alpha x minus, in bracket first I will write this equation. Bracket close and now divide by, I want the derivative of this equation. Even if you don't know how to derivate this, no problem. There is a derivative function here itself. There is shift and this button and you can see I get a derivative. I have to first write the equation. And then I will press the side arrow key and you can see now I have to specify for what value of x I want this. 
so whenever you are finding derivative you have to specify it for what value do you want the derivative because it is going to give you derivative in terms of a single value not as an equation so anyways i have stored the value as x so i'll press alpha and closing bracket and i press equal to and this is the value that i get if you want it in decimals you can press sd and it shows you in decimal places so you can see it is between 1 and 2 it is 1.277 so this is my next iterative value that is my x1 is now 1.2778 now i want a closer value this might not actually be very close to the actual answer now i can use this x1 instead of x0 to find the next iterative value instead of writing all of the equations again I can use the previous equation. So what I'll do is I'll store this value. I'll say shift RCL and X. It says answer has been stored in X and I will go up and this is my equation and press equal to this is my next iterative value that is 1.33. Next iterative value is 1.33119. Now I don't have to do anything else. To find the next iterative value, I can go up, press equal to. Now, this answer has been stored in x, then go up, find the equation, press equal to, and I get 1.333. Now, because I have made this equation, I know the answer, one of the roots is actually 4 by 3, that would be 1.33 recursive. And you can see we are reaching to that particular value. You can use this again, you can go up, equal to, and again go up, equal to, and here you go, we have reached this 1.33 recursive. To find the next root, you have to check whether the root is going to be between 2 and 3 or 3 and 4 or 4 and 5 or maybe in the negative values like we did at the beginning and then repeat this method again. This is how we can use the calculator and this newton raphson method to find the roots of any equation of course we get only one root and it might be an approximate but if you keep on iterating there will be a value that will not go ahead so now if i go up store the value and check again i get again 4 by 3 that is 1.333 you can do it again and again again if i store it and check so this tells me this is the exact value. I am not getting any approximation after this. So this way you can use this calculator and newton raphson method to find root of any equation. If this video was informative, please like, share and subscribe. And do let me in the comments what kind of video would you like me to make next. You can check out the playlist on this calculator and all the different kinds of functions it has. I will leave the link in the description. And I'll see you in the next one.